All right, so I am officially kicked out from my parents' house. <laughs> the girls are starting granddaughter days with my mom and my twin sister and my younger sister, Katie. She will be joining them later this afternoon. She worked a night shift last night, so she is sleeping right now. And I just wanna tell them thank you ahead of time for all the hard work you're gonna do for my girls and the other girls. I'm crying already. I'm not sad to like <laughs> get a break from my kids. That's not what I'm sad about. I'm just, um, I gotta be honest with you. It's, last year was the first year that all of them were doing this. And it was the first year that Jason didn't come with me at the same time as the girls being in granddaughter days. Because it doesn't like make sense for him to do vacation time away from work when he can't spend time with his girls. That's not to say it's not important to spend time with me, but this past year, um, we spent a lot of time together on weekdays when the kids are in school. So we don't feel like we you know, have a dire need to connect. Of course, we like to go out on date nights and that kind of thing, but it was more important for him to work this week. But at the same time, I've gotta be honest with myself and maybe some of you, um, it's, I'm lonely already and I, <sighs> It's hard for me to make plans with people. I made plans today with my friend Heather and I love her and I was excited to see her and I'm gonna try really hard to try and get a hold of her uh, or to get together with her another day. Um, she suddenly had <laughs> the opportunity to go have a root canal and that doesn't sound like such an opportunity but when you really need one and your dentist says, I need to do it today, you run and do that. So I totally like get it. I have like tears streaming down my face because it's like, part allergies, part crying. I'm really fine. Heather, I'm really fine. I'm okay with you canceling today. It's not even all of it. I just, um, it's hard to go and hang out with people that I know because they all have kids and they all are moms right now to all of their kids. And so it's hard to step into their world when it's just me. Like, they would feel obligated to get a babysitter and go hang out with me and that's not fair to them having to pay for a babysitter. and. I'd feel awkward if I was just there with all their kids and my kids weren't there. I'd probably feel sad, actually. And so, it's just hard, a hard world to like do for the next couple days. Last year was hard as well. I don't know if I, how much I admitted it last year, but um, it's kind of lonely. So, we all talk as moms. Oh, I can't wait to have alone time. <laughs> And at home, I'm kind of okay with that because it's my world and I can find things that I want to do in my own time. Um, and I can find my friends that I want to talk to or go and do things with in my world. But I'm not, I grew up here, but I've been away for half my life. So um, I just wanted to talk about that because everyone's like, oh my gosh, it'd be so great to not have your kids with you for three days, but when you're not in your own little comfort zone it's not so easy so I gotta go find ways to make this these next couple days fun for myself so let's go I'm gonna go all right fast forward I've gone to the dollar store and I'm not gonna tell you what these are for or my what my idea is because I need to still talk to my committee and make sure it's gonna work but I have a gold tablecloth a checkered tablecloth and I'm gonna take this hula skirt and turn that one into a tablecloth. But that's all I'm gonna tell you about what I'm gonna do for that party. It's not till the middle of August, but given that I don't get home until the end of July, I wanted to get some stuff, and our dollar store sucks back home. So I'm gonna go to as many dollar stores here as I can and try and get stuff. So I've already succeeded in getting a bunch of the things that I was looking for. Then I picked up some sparklers. If we stay for the fireworks with my family, I wanted to have some sparklers. And then I got some snacks, and then I got some stuff for my niece's wedding that I'm hoping to do, doing like her sign-in table. So I, it, I got two vases and two picture frames, and then I need to order pictures from Costco of their engagement photos. I'll do that tonight when I'm at my sister's house because she's got a Costco right by her house. And then I still need to f see if I can find some white picture frames because that's what she wanted. Um, but they didn't have any at um, they didn't have any at the dollar store, and 
my niece, Jason's niece, is not doing, oh, there's bad light that way. So his niece is not doing like, I like to do like rustic chic, that kind of stuff, but hers is very formal. And so I don't want to spray paint any of the frames because that doesn't give the vibe that will fit well with her wedding. So I need to actually find white frames and see if that will work better. I'm right outside of a store. I can't, you can't even see the name of it. It's called Locals and it's kind of, I'll show you around. I've been here before, um, but it's kind of local people have rent little booths and then they sell their stuff that they have made and I always like to go in here. I have a few friends that sell stuff in here so I'm going to kind of go see what they sell and then it's kind of like an Etsy shop in a store location so it's kind of fun. So let's go in there and see what we can find. I found three things, but I can't show you one of them because one of them is for Abby's birthday. Her birthday is like a week after we get back from this trip. So I've been trying to press her for what she wants for her birthday, but she's not really giving me any ideas. I can't buy her clothes. And what was it, something else she said she did not want? So I'm kind of stuck. But I did get one of those hot pads. I love stuff like this. And I love getting it when it's like locally made. But um, I... Anyway, I know I could probably make that, but sometimes it's funner to just buy it. And then I got one of these little scrunchies. I might just put it in my hair. I'm wearing gray, might be kind of fun. to see my sister-in-law Jenny um, she is working right now she works at a music store so I'm gonna go in and see her I don't know what I'm gonna film with people because you know they're just they may or may not be comfortable but Jenny fully supports me doing this channel so like it's not about her not believing in what I'm doing here on YouTube but just an awkwardness to being on the camera so I will see if she's comfortable with it. If not, I'm just gonna go chat with her. And then I just heard back from my brother. I'm gonna go to dinner with him tonight and have a good time and then spend the night at my sister's house. I don't think I mentioned this. My sister's not actually at her house. <laughs> she's at my mom's house with my girls and my other sister and my mom. And I'm just using her bed <laughs> and her house to sleep in. So just so you know, that's why I don't have anything to go and do or hang out with someone to hang out with because she's actually not there so hey guys <laughs> so it's the next morning and a really late night with my brother and then I talked to my sister on the phone for a long time and my husband on the phone oh, what's that doobie get it bring it here come here you want to come get on camera up on the bed get it on the bed hang on Say hi, Doobie. Do you want me to throw that ball? All day. This boy can play it all day. Why are you doing that? You want the light on? He literally shut the door, too, so I only play with, it, with him in here. I gotta open the door so I can throw it out. Should I throw it down the hall? Huh? Should I throw it? He was doing this to me with it in, oh. See, let me help. Doobie. Doobie. 
Doobie. You are such a goofball. Don't take Doobie. Then he wants me to he wants me to play tug of war with it. <laughs> this is what I've been doing with him for like the past half hour since he's tried to get me out of bed. <laughs> Let go of it and I'll play with you. Anyway, so I slept in. I've woken up numerous times this morning. Um, one, because he kept jumping up on my bed. We're scratching at my door. But um, I'm going to get ready a little bit more and then have breakfast. But I need to get caught up on this channel. And today is a great day for me to do that because I don't have any plans. I might make plans later, but I need to get kind of caught up and not worry about doing this work when I don't have kids around. It would be easier for me to just get it done today and then find something to do with friends or family today later on by myself. So I'm going to get myself some breakfast. Play with Doobie, obviously. That's my sister's dog. Doobie, where are you? She kind of pouts, or he kind of pouts when you don't play with him. So I'm going to go find breakfast and I'll be back. All right, this doggy has been waiting patiently. You want to go out? Let's go out and play. You want to go out and play? He's been waiting out while I ate breakfast. Should we go play? Okay, let me get a chair. Come on. I'm gonna sit down. Don't get it. No, leave it. <laughs> Dog. Hey, Dooby, should we show everyone around my sister's yard? Should we show everyone around? Yeah? All right, so she's, I don't know what kind of tree this one is. Oh, it's apricot. So I'll show you the other tree. You can see them. Oh, see, you can't really see them because they're green still. Oh, there, there's some right here. And up in there, and this makes the best jam she made it for me last year and then she's got an I think these are pears right pears on this tree and then look how beautiful these guys are look look at that that's so cool I just wish I had trees and plants like this but they wouldn't grow in Washington at least not on our side of the state look how pretty it looks so good, but they aren't quite ripe yet. All right, then over here on this side, she hasn't done a garden this year, but she does has done one here before, but she's had a lot of surgeries this year, so she didn't do one. So we've got like some sunflowers that obviously have leftover seeds. And then along the back side of this, this is all grape vines. And she made me grape jelly last year too, and it was so stinking good. So I kind of wait, can't wait for her to get these in and ripe. And Erin, you can send me some. Yeah, they haven't gotten anything growing yet. So, Erin, make me some more jam as soon as all these grapes come in. Okay, Doobie, let's go inside. Okay, get it, you're tired. Come on, let's go inside. Good doggy, go in. Yeah. 
All right, so Doobie and I just had a, a fun adventure. Erin is on the phone with me right now because <laughs> I just got locked out of her house. Hi, Doobie. Where are you? Did we just get locked out, Doobie? So I had to go to two different neighbors, right, Erin? And the second neighbor, she knew Erin and she said, okay, let's just call her. So she called her and realized that Erin had actually tried to call her but didn't recognize the phone number. And Erin is gonna give me the footage of me making a fool out of myself walking around her house. <laughs> um, luckily, Erin saw the, she, so she saw the security footage of me getting locked out. So she was trying to call me but my phone was inside the house and then ended up calling the neighbor because she saw I walked that direction. So anyway, if we can get that security footage of me making a fool of myself, we'll do it, right, Erin? Yeah, we'll do that for sure, are you kidding? <laughs> okay, <laughs> all, for a, uh, all for this. All for a thing of chips that was in my car. So, awesome. all right, well, Erin, have fun. Tell, tell my yeah, girls hi. We're on our way to do our program. All right, have fun. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye. Okay, so now I have to go work because <laughs> I've wasted like a good half hour trying to get in the house. And I, luckily, this little guy is tired from all that. Will you take a nap while I work, please? Okay, I'm going to go work. You take a nap. I know. All right, this dog, Doobie, come on, has been barking at every single thing to go by the front door. He comes and sits on this little sofa right here. And I have a package that I'm waiting for, and he's been barking at every little thing, except for the one time that my package was actually delivered by someone. Never made any bark. Oh, there's Kathy. So, here's my package. This is my new tripod. Alright. So, this is like that. I knew I was going to be here for a couple days, so I had it shipped here. And I'm really hoping it has a stronger hold on here at the top, with that little screw, than the one I currently have. So that should be kind of fun to add to my camera. All right, so I got as much editing done as I could today. Played with Doobie all day long. And I'm missing a, what do you call it? A mini SD card adapter for my SD card from my GoPro. I have all this footage from playing at the pool with the kids the other day and I can't put that into, <laughs> can't get that footage. So I will have to wait to do that when I get back home at my mom's and dad's house. And then I need I just need to finish editing today's video. So I thought I would just say goodnight to you guys. I am let me just show you what I'm currently doing right now. Because I'm in, it's pretty obvious. I'm just laying in bed, but I still have my little companion. Doobie. Doobie, come here. Doobie. You're not asleep. Hey. Hey. Say goodnight. Can you say good night? Can you say good night to everyone? Huh? Say good night. He's hanging out with me here on my lap. Doobie, say hi. And I am watching, um, I forget what it is. Oh, Death in Paradise. If you ever never watched that, it's kind of funny. Murder Mysteries, but it's in the Caribbean. So, Doobie, we're going to say good night, right? Yeah? We're going to go night-night? Alright, so I'm actually using the little tripod that I got and I'm loving it. It seriously is so good and I'm glad I ordered it. Um, so anyway, you guys, I, uh, I'm trying to fix my face. It, when I transition from like Washington humidity and come down to wa Utah humidity, I go from wet humidity to dry humidity. And it was literally the hottest day of the year today. So, uh, so far for Utah, because they've had a really slow summer so far. And um, anyway, my face is just kind of adjusting. And so I kind of did a really good wash and then I shaved my face, but I didn't have coconut oil. <laughs> so I cut myself right here, you can see it. I cut myself and I have all these like breakouts and then I, when I get nervous, I scratch myself at night. I don't know, I'm weird. So my face needs to kind of recover. But I got good news. I get to go to lunch tomorrow with a friend and I'll just see what else I do. So take care you guys and have a good night. Bye.